190 mil is what I need. I'll tell you what, I absolutely hate working with pipe. An absolute mountain of pipe work. Other jobs to get on with. Both my air pumps right into there. But they look pretty cool. Made it so I've got enough room if I ever want to install another air pump. Load of tags what I've ripped off. Load of rubber boots. And in around. So I've managed to do it. I know a lot of people said about these unions that they get nothing but troubles with them leakings. I'll run that down straight off a of four inch. One off of that line and one off of that line. It's a bit dangerous, but it definitely works. Oh, up there, look. There they are. See, I was going to use one of them, but then I thought I won't be able to lift that pipe back off. Yeah, just clips on around like that. Really run it off like a four inch. Well, then, so as you can see, I've been out here to the dark again. So everyone, welcome back to another video. James the Koi Whisperer. If you can like the video for me, it really does help me grow this channel. And if you can subscribe, happy days. Let's just crack on with today's video. I'll make a shelf unit to put my air pumps on. So I'm gonna crack on with that to start with, but to start with, I'll just show you what air pumps that I've got. Right, so I'm at my filter house. I've just unboxed the two air pumps that I'll be using, both 80 liters an hour. One's for the bio, one's for the two bottom drains, but I'm gonna split this one over both bottom drains. So then it's like 40 liters an hour off of each drain. But I'm not planning to run that 24 seven. Obviously this one here, I'm planning to run 24 seven in the bio, but what I've been up to real quickly, I haven't filmed it because I've done enough filming of that yesterday, but I've just built myself a little home for these to live. I've got to paint it pretty much like I did with that one. So that one there looks like that for this is where all my equipment's gonna be. I haven't really got time to paint that today. I've got other jobs to get on with and time for wait for paint to dry. I'm just gonna pop these up there, get them up there, show you what it looks like. I have got to drill down through here and then I'm going to run the cable, disconnect this, run the cable through, and then I can plug both my air pumps right into there. Nice and tidy, out the way, happy days. Let's get it done. Don't know if anyone's used these before, but they look pretty cool. They definitely work. I'm more than happy with them, to be fair. They do look pretty well made. And at the end of the day, it's an air pump, so I'm not really over concerned. As long as it lasts and does its job, I'll be more than happy. There we have it then. So uh, I've made it so I've got enough room. If I ever want to install another air pump, I can fit one between the middle. But yeah, that there's all I've got to do now is literally run that cable through. I'll do that at a later date when I'm ready for that to be plumbed up. And then I can work out where my cables go for the bio straight into there. And then for this one, I'm still not sure about this yet. That's why I'm glad I haven't glued anything up because I am thinking about running this underneath behind the little gap, which I've got there and then bringing it up in this corner so it's all neat and tidy. I'll think of that when I think of it. Next job, really, I need to work out these pipes, make sure everything fits where it needs to go. And because it's not a nice sunny day today, it's when I do jobs in the filter house. So as you can see, I've got an absolute mountain of pipe work I still need to get done and plumb up. It's crazy how many fittings that you actually need. It definitely surprised me by building this pond, how much extra bits that I needed along the way, thinking that I always had enough and then thinking I haven't got enough. So I'm hoping today I've got enough to do the jobs that I want to do. I've got to connect from the drum, from the clean side, I've got to connect that through to the bio. That's one of the first jobs I've got to do. I've also got to connect the skimmer line, which needs to come into the bottom of this drum at the back. I need to also connect up my two returns for both feeding the showers. I was going to run these off separate ones, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to see how today turns out. But first job, really, I want to connect to the bio and I want to connect this four inch pipe into the drum and then think about maybe moving that if I need to. 190 mil. 190 mil is what I need off the four inch pipe right there. I'll mark that and I'll cut it. Four inch pipe. I am using a chop saw. My chop saw don't actually cut all the way through four inch, so I've got to cut halfway and spin it and turn it as I'm doing it. I won't film it because it's a bit dangerous, but it definitely works. I absolutely hate working with pipe. It's been doing my head in. With that being said, look, I'm gonna spin the camera around, show you what I've been up to, show you what I've got done. I don't mind working with wood. I like working with wood, but I hate working with pipe work. I was gonna swear then, but I can't swear on this channel. It's doing my head in. So once again, I do apologise about the picture in here, down to the light up there. Nothing to do with my light, it's to do with the camera flicking against the light. And I don't know why it does it, but it does. As you can see, I've got a load of tags what I've ripped off, a load of rubber boots. I've managed to fix this part down, in around, and that connects into the bio, like so down there. 
All I'm gonna do is put a little bracket on there just to support that pipe, or I might even make a little stand to support that pipe because it's, it's not moving much, but I don't want it to move at all. So I'm just gonna clip a back bracket on there and that will help keep everything dead level. It's hard for you to see, but I've done it. It's rock solid. So what I used, let me try and get you a picture a second before we go any further. Can you see that? Let me show you one, what I've done. Oh, up there, look, there they are. With me box of bits and pieces. See, I was gonna use one of them, but then I thought I won't be able to lift that pipe back off, be a right pain. So that's a four inch bracket. What I used was one of them and it works an absolute treat. So I screwed that to the wood and then that there just clips on around like that. And then you can see it's dead supported and it just helps out that little bit, just keeps that bit from shaking around. Now you can see he don't move oddly at all. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Moment I've managed to do this bit. I have glued up this little section Put two rubber boots on it. I've put my pump down there. I am going to split eventually. This is why there's rubber boots on here. I am eventually, when I got the money, whenever I get it, I'm going to get another pump. I'm going to run these two lines off separate pumps. But for now, I've just hooked up this. I've got it as neat as I can. My next job now is to connect this pipe to this pipe. Work it out how I can get it in there. I've also shortened the length of this pipe. I've put a 90 on it bringing it up straight into the back of the drum, which is nice, neat and tidy. That's all in there. You can see I've got to paint the wall again. Obviously, whacking the pipes in, changing stuff around, moving bits and pieces. I've marked the wall in certain areas, but I can touch up that later down the line. At the moment, I'm just concerned about getting all of the pipe in the right place, but I'm having a bit of a job trying to work it all out. I don't like working with pipe work. It's a job that I really don't like doing but it's one of them jobs that has got to be done. So the next bit here now, I'm going to run all of this off rubber boots. So I decide exactly how I'm going to get that line to feed two pumps later down the line. I'll probably run it off like a four inch and, a, and then split the four inch and then run two four inch lines reduced down to two inch and then run two separate pumps, one there, one there. But obviously at the moment, I've only got the one pump. So I could in effect, take that pump down there and put my old pump on it which is crossing my mind at the moment but i think i'm going to see how i get on with this at the moment because i've had about enough to be fair in here it's just such a tight space i'm every time i'm in over there once it's all set up it'll be done the day's going on and i just don't feel like i'm gaining but i'm trying my best obviously you move around sank and this pipe work i just ate it I absolutely hate it, but I'm going to keep pushing on, see if I can connect this to that, and then just see what it looks like. We'll see it, how it will work with the room that I've got, because I am working in a tight space here. There's not much room to play with. I've got to bring that pipe in around here and then get it to there, which shouldn't be that much of a problem, but I'll try my best and see what happens. Right then, so I've managed to do it. I have used rubber boots at the moment because, like I said on the last video, they, they, they didn't have any... 90s left in stock when i come to do it so i might change them over later but at the same time i'm thinking i'm gonna change that to four inch eventually anyway what i'm thinking at the moment is this here is bending down i've got it sat on a support bracket there it's also sat on a support bracket right at the back over there i need to get one for there and there i also need to paint my floor again where i've scratched the hell out of my floor moving stuff around but that bends round on a 90 there, attaches to the pump. I know a lot of people said about these unions that they get nothing but troubles with them leaking. So I'm hoping mine don't leak. I'm gonna chuck loads of PTFE tape on them. I don't believe that it leaks from the side where the rubber is. I believe people say they get leaks from where it screws to the pump. So if you screw these in, you can only screw them so far before it you know, the, you run out of screw thread and you can't go in any further. So I think that's where the issue is. But if I get nothing but problems with these, I'll just whack a rubber boot on there to be fair, because I can't see that being a problem either. But, you know, live and learn and see what happens. Eventually, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run it like this for the time being, run that pump flat out at 30,000 liters, and then basically work out 
if that's enough to feed both showers i don't think it will be i'll end up doing is i'll get another pump which i'll sit next to it so where you see this i'll run that down straight off a of four inch i'll use that spare t that i've got which is up there i'll sit the t down basically where that is and i'll feed one four inch reduced down to two inch for this system and then the other one for this system eventually and then feed one off of that line and one off of that line do apologize about the lighting here and i also apologize about the way i'm trying to explain here i could have filmed me doing all of this today but it's hard to film in here it's not exactly you know a big area for me to work with but i'm more than happy with how things are coming on slow and steady it'll be tidy should all work fine i've still got to get some connections to connect these here to the air pumps i want to get it nice and neat and tidy against the wall and then bring them up and then bring them in still a bit unsure what i'm going to do about this i did think about running it across here but still a little bit unsure i mean there's enough room i've got enough of a gap to run the pipes behind there but it all depends if that's what i want to do but if if i did that what i'll do i'll just run this across here along the bottom to leave as much space over there for my gas boiler i think that's a better idea what i'm going to do to be fair lucky nothing's glued up there the only thing that i've got glued in this filter house is this here and the only reason why is for how tight that i had to put them pipes together to get it to fit i thought there's no point me trying to dry fit them and pull it back out and so as you can see i've been out here to the dark again absolutely crazy the amount of hours i'm spending out here doing this i'm taking longer to work out the job before i actually do it but that being said i will get it done i will have this pond up and running very soon i do apologize about the light here as well it's because i've got the camera the wrong way around but i'm trying to tell you exactly what's going on but that being said look i'm gonna end the video here don't forget turn your notification bell on so you don't miss any other future upload because it ain't gonna be long and i'm gonna have this pond full of water and i'll be able to bring my fish back i've got to order up some more glue and glue everything up what's left to be glued in the filter house hopefully i'll get that done one night this week as soon as the glue turns up happy days and i'll crack on with it but that being said i'm gonna end the video here thank you mother for the rabbits and i'll catch you all soon <laughs>